Повысите зарплаты трудягам! Russia's Unity Day was introduced by President Putin as a national holiday eight years ago. But Monday's march in Moscow once again was hijacked by the extreme right. It's supposed to mark the victory of the Russian resistance in 1612 against occupying Polish and Lithuanian troops in the city. But here there were Nazi chants of Sikh Heil and calls to save Russia, kill the migrants. The sentiments expressed by those taking part were all equally extreme. We are Russians, we have to stand together. I'm Russian and I live on the Russian soil. I don't mind Muslim people if they live in their own countries. I don't care about their hijabs in Iran, Iraq, Uzbekistan or Tajikistan. People who have their own country, they shouldn't be on Russian Orthodox soil in such large numbers. The Russian authorities designated a southeastern suburb of Moscow for the march well away from the city center and heavily policed. They estimated the number of marchers at around 8,000, far fewer than the 30,000 the organizers had hoped would attend. As you can see, the numbers here have been contained by the authorities and the police are ringing every single intersection. But it's not the danger here posed by the nationalists, it's in the suburbs, in the metros, away from the protests. Racial tensions are particularly high this year, following riots sparked by the stabbing to death of a Russian last month by an Azeri immigrant in Moscow. In the wake of today's march, leading figures in the Azerbaijan community here have warned their fellow countrymen to take a special care and close down their cafes and restaurants in case they're attacked. David Chater, Al Jazeera, Moscow.